Commander Chuck Mulligan with the St. John's County Sheriff's Office? It depends on, again, how the story is portrayed because many times law enforcement is at a disadvantage. There are many things that go on in a criminal investigation that we do not disclose to the public, and there's a reason for that. Because if we play everything out day two in the media, uh, in the public eye, how will you ever find a jury that, that hasn't been tainted by the information? Um, if, if all of the interviews and the blogs and all of the other issues that come out in today's social world um, are known to the public, um, it can certainly sway a jury's opinion. The question is, I could go online as a friend of an individual who's arrested or whatever and blog anything I want. It doesn't matter if it's truthful or not. It doesn't matter if it's factual or not or if it's based on what the evidence says. That's speculation. It's, it's opinionated. It, and we see that. Um, so what we try to do is in some ways be closed in the regards of protecting certain levels of information to ensure that the people who need to hear that information the very first time are the juries who are the ones sitting in judgment, if you will, of what's going to happen with that person.